Some amusement parks are built on children's dreams, but now there's one built out of children's toys. That's right. Gail Anderson is at Legoland in Carlsbad with a first look at this unique new park. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, we are here uh, at Legoland on the property with Simon Pugh. Simon is model animator. Come on over, Simon. And he has some, uh, he has a fun job. What happens is he takes, what's amazing is this park is built with 30 million of these, if you're not familiar with Legos. Look at how tiny these are. And you take these and you build an entire park with them and then you animate them. We have a couple of pieces we want to show you here that are actually moving around. Now what you're looking at, this is New Orleans right here. Yep. And then behind New Orleans, in case you think you're looking at uh, the Empire State Building, that's New York. Then there's also a New England Harbor, San Francisco. They even have a miniature uh, man's theater here. And uh, all of these are in Miniland. And you'll see some vehicles on here moving around. Which comes first? Do you build the little motor and then put the Legos around it, or do make the Legos around it first, and then put the motor in there? Well, what they do is they take the um, they take the models themselves and they start to design them, and then we begin to fit all the motors and put the mechanics inside the motors, inside the uh, Lego models themselves. And all of this is powered by a computer? They, they don't run on little individual guest <laughs> tanks? That's <laughs> right. There's about 11 computers controlling the whole of Miniland. Oh, you see those little trolleys? Those are made out of Legos. On television, maybe they look like... They might be one solid piece, but they're not. That's right. Individual pieces made up from the standard Lego pieces that you can buy in the shops. That's amazing. Now, uh, as we uh, hang out here throughout the morning, we're going to be able to show you more as it, the sun rises here. But look at this one little feature here. Can you hear this? I'm playing the piano here. That's it. <laughs> I'm playing organ here. Again, we're at Legoland. We'll show you more of this most unusual park made out of these little tiny Legos, 30 million of them, throughout the morning. That's a lot of glue. Uh, Back to you. <laughs> Legos don't use glue. Is this outside, Gail? Are yeah, you outside? Yeah, it seems like you're outside. I'm sorry, what now? Are you, Are you outside? Yes. Oh. It's raining. <laughs> Now, how do the Lego Wait. parts hold up to the rain? Well, you were talking earlier about the weather forecast while we were preparing. I was kind of uh -huh. listening to you guys, and I'm uh -huh. thinking, she says, oh, the, what, the rain's on, on its way up there. Oh, yeah. It's been uh, raining off and on here. But It'll, it doesn't affect the displays in any way. No, huh? it doesn't affect the displays in any way. It hasn't so far, has it? No, not so far. Okay. <laughs> We wow, that is up. amazing. Look at that. That's very cool. Uh, Legos are one of my favorite toys yeah. as a kid. I love Legos. I'm Gail Anderson reporting live from the KTLA New York Bureau. <laughs> well, not exactly. I'm in Carlsbad at the new Legoland uh, amusement park. And this is Miniland, the entire city here, built out of miniature Legos. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> we'll show you in a live report. Ooh, Manhattan. <laughs> I left my heart in San Francisco. Well, in this case, I left my Legos there. We're here at Legoland, the new amusement park, constructed completely out of Legos. We'll show you what sort of activities go on here for parents and their preteens in a live report. It's a sneak peek. Back in a moment. Children's dreams, but now there's one built out of children's toys. It's about time. Gail Anderson is in Carlsbad with an exclusive first look at Legoland. Good morning, Gail. Hi, Gail. Uh, good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Carlos. <laughs> <That> <laughs> this right. is called uh, Fun Town, Fun Zone, and uh, we're actually driving these little cars that go about five miles per hour uh, here at Legoland. Not everything is miniature, and that's what we're trying to show you. The uh, park officially opens here Saturday, March 20th. Hold on. Ooh, Scott Sylvest, who. Uh, <laughs> Knows all about the attractions. This is called Drive Town, is that right? Driving School. Driving School, I need a lesson. And we've got folks driving around here. Things that aren't built exactly with Legos are built in the Lego design, and that's what these cars are. That's correct. And what are some of the other attractions that are in this area? Because you, people can see at home that there are larger buildings here. Well, there's many different restaurants around the area. There's also a uh, factory tour, which, which actually builds and, uh, and decorates Lego bricks, actually from just like it's built and made in the actual factories. Uh, we also have the, uh, the helicopters, which is a uh, which is up and down hydraulic ride, uh -huh. um, and also the uh, sky cycle, which is a uh, pedal ride that takes you around the, uh, the or part of the park. These are fun and again designed for preteens as well as their parents. They don't go very fast, so you can't get in too much trouble with this. That's correct, but I I, I think they're going to find a way to do something <laughs> like that. So it'll be interesting to see how how they work it out. All right, last hour we showed you uh, the mini land that's built out of uh, little tiny Legos. Let us show you what else is uh, going to be open and ready for you come March 20th. Take a look at this. I have to drive around. The Danish toy company takes its brightly colored bricks from toy shelves to a 128 acre Carlsbad site. The miniature city and famous U.S. landmarks are made from real plastic Legos. All the models for Legoland California were made in Europe and shipped stateside in pieces. There are no special bricks to make these shapes. 
Lego's master builders have taken three years and 30 million Lego bricks to design the park's 5,000 Carlsbad models. Now, rides like the roller coaster are made to look like they were crafted with Lego blocks, but this and other attractions won't be a rough ride. You see, the park is supposed to be a kinder and gentler place for preteens and parents. Legoland California is the third in the world. Its prototypes prosper in England and Denmark. You're reporting live from uh, Legoland on this, uh, this particular hour. We are driving around in uh, Legos. These are cars designed for parents and preteens to drive. Go about five miles per hour. I'm going to pull up here next to Buddy because in addition to the fun and, and, and all of this, there's also an educational program, an educational aspect. Ooh, brakes. <laughs> Mama. And Lynn Crockett is over here on the other side. You know, Lynn, Legos are, are pretty basic. You, you, you have different sizes to do different things. You snap them together, that's it. Low right. tech. But in a day and age when people play with kids, play with Furbies and the, the little video games and things, how uh, is Lego going to cope with that kind of competition? Well, we have the Mindstorms robots here, and uh, the Guinness Book, Book of World Records lists them as the most advanced robot toy ever made. Really? They'll be competing against each other in a Robo Cup. Um, oh, so did I do that? <laughs> Some of the robots will be pushing these uh, foam balls into their, into their goal. Mm -hmm. um, kids will be programming the robots to see if a launch is more effective in, in getting their robots uh, to, to make more goals in a certain amount of time. Um, these low-tech towers will be tested on earthquake tables, elect ah. electronic earthquake tables, to see if they will hold up and to find out how stable they are. Now look at this. What is this? You've got uh, interactive moving little, parts that I'm tearing uh, up here? This is to teach kids that um, gears... Um, are circular and, and they have teeth and they have motion. This is a paper crinkler showing that, that gears uh, that mesh go in different directions. Kids can make, you can see there's a variety of ways to put them together and you know with Lego everything you build is right. So And parents as well as teachers can contact Legoland once the park opens next month, March 20th, uh, for, uh, for the various programs yeah, that will be available. School groups have been making reservations already. We have almost 20,000 kids um, signed up to come to Legoland and teachers can call 877-LEGOLAND uh, to make the reservations. All right, again, uh, we've taken you on a little tour of Legoland. They have officially open next month. That's why you see a little construction going on in the background. Buddy is uh, back here screaming at everybody to hurry up. Back to you in the studio. Oh, Legoland. Hey, they're not Can't the Legos I remember. Boy, complicated Legos. It's 8.30.